Hi, let me introduce you to Annie. Annie has been working as a lead security architect with Acme Inc. for a couple of years and has been benefiting from using SAP Access Control to govern user SAP ERP access. As with many of SAP's customers, she is heavily reliant on the control and automation it provides for the hire to retire process. It supports everything from technical role design to user provisioning, access risk analysis to mitigation, compliance reporting to super user management. This has been a game changer for her and has dramatically reduced costs whilst increasing her confidence. Recently, Acme CISO explained to her that he is impressed by the solution's capabilities but felt that he needed additional protection due to some recent changes in how the company functioned. He was aware that he now relied on a largely remote workforce at a time when cyber attacks were increasing and he wanted a way to make it easier for his users to access his system whilst ensuring that his crown jewels were adequately protected. Annie investigated technologies that were able to bring automation and cost saving aligned to the tasks set out by the CISO. After speaking with her SAP account executive, she learned that SAP could improve the experience of the end users whilst enhancing the overall security through the implementation of SAP Single Sign-On. The CISO agreed that this relatively simple solution made sense for many reasons but stressed that he had additional concerns around the access that some of his users had to specific information. Employees need to have access to certain transactions and screens which currently allowed them to see some sensitive and personal information. He was being challenged by the business to ensure compliance with GDPR and other regulations and this could be a significant breach. He asked Annie to again investigate whether it was possible to further extend the control she had by adding the capability to hide fields and even log what people had seen. And so, after two relatively short implementations, Annie was overjoyed to be able to go live with both SAP Single Sign-On and SAP User Interface Masking and User Interface Logging. Now she had much broader control. Password management was now significantly easier and she stopped getting as many password reset requests and the user experience had certainly much improved. She still had all the benefits and controls from SAP Access Control, but now, in addition, she could obfuscate or monitor access to specific information on the user screens. The CISO was delighted with the extension of the control Annie's team had over her user access and voiced that he wished he had similar levels of control over a lot of the other systems in his landscape. Annie smiled. She knew that SAP had the ability to expand the abilities of SAP Access Control across a heterogeneous landscape. She had heard from her SAP account executive that SAP Access Control, whilst optimized for SAP core solutions, were not tethered to them, and she could, relatively easily, start rolling out the same level of control and automation across the SAP cloud solutions, including SAP Ariba and SAP SuccessFactors. She also knew that the expanding of the coverage of SAP Access Control, even outside the SAP estate, was entirely possible. She asked her CISO, where do you want to start? A few months later, and Annie reviewed how her daily tasks had changed. Now, when a new employee joined the company and was set up in success factors, this automatically kicked off a workflow process for the user to get all the access they needed across all relevant systems. All access risks were highlighted and, if required, could quickly be mitigated. Compliance checks were automated and single sign-on meant far fewer password reset requests. Both Annie and her CISO had significantly more confidence in the most basic part of cyber defence, user access management. Today, Annie finds herself in a new role with a broader remit and she's been given a new task to really advance the current cyber protection the company has. Her CISO is well aware that relying solely on perimeter protection is no longer sufficient for the company. Cyber criminals have many more routes into his organization, many more ways of hiding, and significantly more potential for damage. SAP Access Control remains the foundation, but in 2021, additional flexibility and defined attribute-driven controls relating to the source of the access request would deliver additional benefits. Annie knows that for critically sensitive data, especially, user management may require the move to attribute-based access control. And so once again, she is working with SAP 
to plan the deployment of SAP Dynamic Authorization Management as a future-proof solution in her environment. In addition, her company now runs in real-time using the power of SAP S for HANA, and this brings with it a huge amount of potential opportunities but also some additional risks. SAP HANA has increased the potential for optimizing many company processes, but it also offers huge potential for improving cyber protection. Annie is now hoping to implement SAP Enterprise Threat Detection, a HANA-based machine learning powered solution for today's and tomorrow's challenges, which can identify anomalies which are worthy of investigation. Finally, a solution fit for purpose in the modern world, Annie gives a smile of relief. She's still in control. She's still impressing her management.